Time now, Wayne. Ugh. Wayne? Hang on, playing chicken with a tanker is a real science. Note to self, never play chicken with an oil tanker ever again. What is it they want? They want us to stop, sir. They say we broke quarantine. We can't stop. We're on a tight schedule. Sir, she's coming around again. Requesting permission to come aboard. You are in violation of an international quarantine. Requesting permission to <sighs> All board. right, full stop. Let them come aboard. You weren't supposed to leave port, Captain. All the oil from the area is suspect for contamination. Captain, what part of quarantine don't you understand? Yeah, I heard those rumors about monsters. But I don't have any time for fairy tales. I've got oil to deliver. Not anymore, you don't. This oil is swimming with genus cells. We need to head back to port, pronto. All right, full ahead, back to port, pronto. Good thing we caught the genus before it had a chance to evolve. Right, Ira? Ira? Uh, you know I hate that <gasps> look. It's replicating with unprecedented vitality. And that's bad, right? Central tanks three, four, and five. Emergency containment. We got company. Your mix isn't working on these. I see that. Somehow they've melded their DNA with the petroleum molecules. It's amazing. No, it's annoying. <laughs> Doc, this is no time for spring cleaning. Au contraire, Lieutenant Lucy. It's time to clean up this mess. The coffee's acidic nature is just the stringent element we need. Oh, remind me to switch to decaf. We gotta hurry. We can't let the genus get off this ship. Done. Go. Go!
This should eliminate the genus in the tanks. Keep your eyes peeled for anything we might have missed on deck. Doc, we have a problem. No! They've already made it to that island. Oh, so much for our three-hour tour. We have to stop the genus from spreading over the Galapagos Islands. No sign of them. The volcanogenic rock formations are interfering with the heat signatures. Wayne, take Gassy and see if you can pick up the scent. No, <laughs> oh, who wants a walkie? Huh? Who wants a walkie? Hey, Ira, check out the big turtle. Oh, this couldn't be worse. Science is on the line here, and I'm not about to be labeled throughout history as the scientist that lost the Galapagos Islands. Yeah, other scientists can say the cruelest things. Aw, oh, we wouldn't want the mean scientist to hurt your feelings, Dr. Kane. Don't you have some tracking to do? Oh, uh, sorry, Dr. Kane. We're on it. Hmm. Harry, this is very serious. Just look at this turtle, for instance. You see, it's got 53 painted on it. You know what that means? That, uh, somebody vandalized the turtle? No! This turtle is being studied and tracked by scientists to help us learn more about life. From a giant turtle? These are the Galapagos Islands. Darwin's finest moment. The birthplace of the theory of evolution. Hmm. Survival of the fittest. Works for me. Let's go hunting. Oh, good, Gassy, good. Uh, Dr. Kane, Gassy found the genus. Or at least the trail. They've evolved into stage two reptilian form. Stay alert, people. No sweat. Look, we got them trapped in that canyon up there. Come on. You should have made Gassy with a stealth mode. We'll never gain the element of surprise. Hold your fire. It's only an iguana. No signs of the genus anywhere. Oh, come on, you missing stink. No more false alarms. My nose can't take it. The footprints leave here, but then disappear. Smells like a trap. Nah, that's just gassy. Get ready. Here they come. Locked and loaded. Now batting for the alienators, Harry Block. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumba. Cha-cha-cha! What? What? Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, I can feel my hair growing. Ah! Gassy, enough with the false alarms already. Hey, cut Gassy some slack. He's never been wrong before. See, I told ya, Gassy was right. Huh? <laughs> Time out. It's a sneak play. I hate sneak plays. Unbelievable. Look at the speed of replication. I estimate that in 2.3 seconds, they'll develop... Don't tell me. An immunity to the current mix of blue goo? Exactly. I'm gonna need a little more time to find the right chemicals. We don't have time! Gee, you 
you should be a little more careful where you step, LT. I'm open to suggestions here. Anyone? Anyone? Are you a good bowler? Huh? Now, give me a hand with this. I'm going for a 7-10 split. Pins like that are gonna bring down my average. Look at the amazing adaptability. Look, enough being amazed, I reduce something. Should have worked. Should have? We're running down the last few seconds on the clock here, Ira. Nothing's working. What just happened? Harry, you're a genius. Funny. I don't feel like a genius right now. That's it. Guanadine. Well, almost a more impure form of the strong alkaline crystalline compound. Guano is an amazing substance. We, we don't, don't care. care! It can be used in everything from solvents to fertilizers to plastic food containers. Just make it work! There. said science wasn't really useful. Once again, science saves the day. We've got them on the run. Come on! That's the last of it, Dr. Kane. The Galapagos Islands are safe to evolve any way they like from now on. <sighs> A job well done. I'm glad that's over. Said it should take care of it. It didn't work. I knew that crackpot didn't know what he was talking about. Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Uh, that doesn't sound too good. Need a lot more bat doo doo. My calculations indicate that the genus will reach the shore in less than 22 minutes, and I need 200 pounds of guanidine to create the right mix. Okay, I'll just head on over to bed, bath, and guanidine. I need to prep the selenium. So, who wants to go over to the rock and be the big hero? Come on, guys, don't think of it as guano, think of it as part of science. Science is beautiful. It stinks. How can you whistle at a time like this? Hey, come on, we're saving the world. Harry, why do you bother? You're talking to a boy whose best friend is a walking stench cloud. Hey. Whoa. You're not helping here, Gassy. The good news is that I can now create the special mix using selenium and guanidine in 3.8 minutes. The bad news is the genus oil reptiles will hit the island in 2.6 minutes. Never fear, Harry Block is here. This reminds me of the all water sports open of last year. I've got a plan. Watch this! Woo. Oh yeah! 
We bad, we bad. Enough hot dog and Harry. Aye, aye. Let's push these things back a little. Hey, oil dudes, eat my wick. Roger that, Lieutenant. That's odd. Harry, do you have a visual? Yeah, but I wish I didn't. It's merging together into one really big monster, and it's moving! Which way? Right towards you! Fascinating. Pieces. Quick, wait, inject, inject. I'll be right behind you. Dr. Kane, I keep your arms, legs, and genetically engineered stink monsters inside the seat at all times. Wayne's clear. Jack, Ira. I can't, Harry. I won't. We barely have enough of the mix to make it work. It's got to be placed precisely in the center of that thing. There's only one way to do that. No, no, Ira, don't! You won't make it! I'm prepared for that. The Galapagos Islands need to be there, safe and pristine for the next generation and the generations to come. And I'm doing this for all the amazing creatures that live there, for the memory of Charles Darwin himself, and especially for Giant Tortoise number 53. <gasps> Visual contact. Come on, Doc. Come on. Wait. I see something. Hey. This one's for you, Charlie Darwin. Genus is devolved and contained, and the oil slick it created is being cleaned up. I'd say today was a pretty good day, especially for science. Charles Darwin came to these islands and was inspired. I mean, this majestic animal could be old enough to have actually been here when Darwin set foot on this beach. Oh, just think of what this tortoise could teach us. The wisdom of the ages, what is it seeking? Why is it crossing this beach? What great purpose is on its mind? Isn't that beautiful? Now that's science. Observing nature in its pristine condition. Pure, perfect, golden science. Whatever you say, Dr. Kane. <laughs> 